Hello, in this video we will use Blender's physics tools, namely Blender's rigid body tools, to create a 3D simulation of a pinball machine. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. I'm going to start off by deleting everything. So A and A again, X delete. Then I'm going to go and start designing how my 3D pinball will look. I'm just literally just going to make this up. Uh, first let's add a cylinder as such and then let's rotate it r y 90 and r z 90 so that uh, it sort of faces the front okay and i'm just going to go ahead and put it ran in random places so g and then drop it there uh, alt d and let's move it here alt d let's move one here and let's drop it in random places so this sort of acts like the obstacles for our ball. Now I want to add the planes to define the boundaries of our pinball machine. So shift A mesh plane to add a mesh. Uh, let's rotate it around like, oops, let's go to the front view. Rotate it around, scale it up, and let's put it in like that. That looks good. Quite uh, fat for a pinball machine. So S Y to scale it down a bit, and let's make it a bit thicker. So I'm gonna press. I'm just gonna go into the edit mode right real quick, and press E, and then just uh, extrude out a little bit of thickness in our of our boundary thingy here. And while I'm here, I might go ahead and extrude uh, more definition on this. So I'm just gonna select the last four vertices here. Go into face select mode. Uh, e and just uh, create a cool shapes. So rotate around, move it around like that. E again, uh, E rotate around and move it around like that. I might actually just go into the edit mode, select everything and move it away from this orange dot that you see here. So move it uh, about there so that this line doesn't exactly meet up with this orange. It, it goes a bit beyond that. Now why would I want to do that? Well, when I just tap out of edit mode, I can now go to the modifiers panel and add a mirror modifier. And that's in the wrong axis, so I probably need to use the Z axis. Um, and now any change I make here will be reflected um, in on the other side as well. So we might add a bit more height to this. Uh, might move it around like that and that that looks good so let's just rotate this around a bit more and let's move it in okay so we start to see our pinball machine taking effect so shift a uh, mesh might add a cube for this uh, and it's just going to be quite simple simple 3D modeling here, S, Y, uh, rotate around, S, X, X again, scale up, and let's move it here. Uh, feel free to create your own obstacles, don't have to follow mine, so S, Z, Z, and let's scale it down, select this face here. S, Z, Z and scale it up and we extrude once more, extrude once more, scale it down and we've created a very quick uh, little doorway thingy that we use that you generally see in those pinball machines. Scale it down and I might just uh, Alt D and duplicate it on the other side. So R, Z, 180. Okay, so we have our uh, doorway thing set up as well so that's pretty good um, and I think that's I think that's the basic foundation of our pinball machine while I'm there I might just go ahead and select all these cylinders they don't seem to be big enough I mean well, wide enough so S Y to scale it up and that looks good all right Oh, sorry, I missed one. S Y. That's good enough. Okay, so our pinball machine has been defined. 
So now it's finally time to add our actual pinball. So I might just add it somewhere around here as our starting point. Shift A, mesh, UV sphere. This will be our pinball. So let's just scale it up just a little bit like that. And I might just put it around here. Feel free to put it wherever you like. So hopefully this will create more interesting um, motion. So now that we have our main obstacle set up and our pinball, it's now time to actually apply some physics to this. So we're going to use the rigid body physics tools. So let's scroll back to the physics tab or the properties window. And we're going to make use of the rigid body button there. So let's start with the obstacles. I'm just going to go ahead and select each obstacle one by one. And for each obstacle, I'm just going to click rigid body and change its type from active to passive. This basically makes this object a, a, a collision object of some sort. We don't actually use a collision object. We will define We'll define it to be a collision object in the rigid body tools. I know it sort of is, does the same thing. Um, the rigid body tool is actually a relatively new tool which was added in Blender quite recently. All these other stuff don't really affect the rigid body tools as much. It's sort of a tool on its own. Okay, so we enable that to be type passive and we're going to enable all these other objects to be of type passive as well. So now I'm just going to go one by one and enable rigid body and make it type passive. Okay, so now that we have all our objects set as rigid body, um, this now acts as a collision object. So when I play back, nothing happens. Uh, but you do see the yellow line being generated because it is actually caching our uh, rigid body simulation in real time. Okay, so now it's time to make our pinball move and come alive. So I'm going to scale that up a little bit more. Make for a slightly more interesting animation, but not too big because it looks like it may get stuck in some areas. Um, just to make the course a bit more interesting, I might just actually add more little obstacles that will guide a bit more. So maybe a cube, S, Z. And I'm now going to go ahead and make this one passive. So rigid body passive. But I'm not going to make this one passive. I'm going to allow the motion to move uh, however it likes. Okay, so now it's time to make our pinball move as a pinball. So select your sphere and select rigid body. Leave it as active. You can play around with all these other settings like mass and friction and bounciness and so on. But I'm just going to leave it at the default. So now when I play back my animation, we should see our pinball come to life. And look at that. Oh, it didn't collide at the end. Seems to have shaved through that edge there. The main reason why it's not colliding properly with the um, with this thing here is because it's using a mirror modifier. So th this is the real mesh which has a rigid body. This one doesn't. This is just a mirror. So it's basically like a ghost to the rigid body. So to make this whole thing a rigid body, I have to apply the modifier. We don't want it to become a a modifier anymore. We want it to become an actual mesh. So now it should be actual rigid body. So our issue was actually in that. There we go. And we successfully have made our pinball machine. Now we have more issues over here. It doesn't seem to have uh, collided properly. Ah, it's fell off the edge. Oh well. I'm just going to go ahead and cheat. So now when I play back my final pinball animation, it should behave by the law of physics. And how good does that look? <laughs> Our ball is too big. Oh, that's funny. All right, our ball seems to get stuck. So that's fine. Um, it doesn't matter. We've created some pretty cool physics. So I hope you've had some fun creating your own pinball machine using Bender's physics tools, namely Bender's rigid body physics tools. Um, you know, you can create a wide variety of different physics effects in Blender using these tools. So this is just a beginner tutorial. 
the, the potential for physics in Blender is quite huge. Just go to YouTube and search Blender Physics and you'll see all these cool effects created with it. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Um, keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.